Good morning to all of you. Welcome to Legal Matters by Sai Babu Sankara. Oka Vikti Oka Pajata Vitamani Twenty Padavalo Unte Chala Gauro Pradanga Matrana. No doubt he may have his own opinions, but he should not vent out the same. That too, on paper. Even I have told you the Institute, Manipal Institute case also, you should not. Uh, uh, talk in such a way and you should not give orders which irks or which lowers the authority of the courts also supreme court here the in charge chief information commissioner please remember in charge chief information commissioner he has passed certain derogatory remarks against a judgment given by the honorable supreme court of india in 1993 regarding payment of uh, the so called salaries to imams and now the of course the <coughs> some of the lawyers of the supreme court they wanted to go for in, they initiate contempt action against him therefore he may be knowing according to the contempts of the court act 1971 permission from the advocate general consent from the advocate general is necessary to proceed against any government officer right office of uh, important uh, definitely they need permission now come to the protect point so, the advocate on record, Mr. Aldanish Rain, Aldanish Rain, he sent a letter to the Attorney General. Who is our present Attorney General? Not K.K. Venugopal. Please remember, he is a K. R. Venkat Ramani. He is a male person, R. Venkat Ramani. So, the advocate on record, Aldanish Rain, he sent a letter to the Attorney General to give consent to initiate contempt of court action. So, against the in charge commission, chief information commissioner, he is Udai Mahukar, Udai Mahukar, for allegedly making remarks on the Supreme Court. So, what happened? Let us better know. The in charge, <coughs> so information, chief information commissioner, Udai Mahukar. So, while disclosing, while dealing with a RTI petition. On 25 11, 2022, he observed that the Supreme Court judgment of 1993, that is, All India Imams Organization and another, All India Imams Organization and another, versus Union of India and others, 1993. So, the judgment is violation of Article 27, wherein it was observed that the taxpayers' money is, is should not be used to pay the so-called or to favor any particular religion. So very recently, pastors, their salaries also increased. So definitely it become a complication issue. Now, actually, what is the RTA question? Better to know first. The question which came before the Chief Information Commission is whether priests of Hindu temples were given the salaries like Imams or not. So this is the question. For this, the Chief Information Commissioner commented that giving salaries to Imams, please remember, and others in mosques, it amounts to betrayal of Hindus because you are not going to anything uh, to the priests in the Hindu temples. So why should you pay to the Imams? So Information Commissioner apparently said that the Apex Court asked to pay the emoluments to Imams uh, in the country. So. The, if you go to the case All India, All India Imams Organization versus NF India. So in this case, the Imams filed a petition before the court for enforcing their fundamental rights against exploitation by the courts. So therefore, the Honorable Supreme Court of India ordered their salaries to be paid from 1 12 1993. That's it. Every case depends on the facts and circumstances. So please remember. So here, not only the comments, the chief information said that, commissioner said that uh, it, the Supreme Court's uh, judgment uh, in that 1993 case is against to Article 27, against to the spirit of uh, the Article 27. But he also said that, suppose, uh, take the example of Pakistan. Pakistan was born along religious lines. So they can give the salaries to the Imams. But whereas India, it's a secular country. We don't have any religion. Then why should you pay 
so called amounts to imams and mosques the people so please remember and he also marked a copy to the ministry of law and justice law and justice so requested them to take suitable action so either you pay to hindu priests also otherwise you refrain from paying to imams also this is uh, what is the observation of the chief information commissioner it has irked the legal fraternity actually it is a comment adverse comment on the judgment of the supreme court the judgment came in 1993 not now you have to follow the judgment if you have gone through the facts and circumstances of the entire judgment you should not doubt like that so his impression is that hindus are being marginalized hindu priests are being murdered what is the discrimination is it not against article 27 of the constitution of india that is opinion so therefore please remember whenever you are in a responsible position you should not lose your time so that's why respect the law respect the judgment you have got any grievance yes you go for appeal or you go for revision that's all you cannot come it like this so this is what you have to learn after reading this uh, particular incident okay with this i am concluding thank you very much